Welcome to In the Kitchen with Dinah. Today, we're making barbecued meatballs. Someone's in the kitchen with Dinah. Someone's in the kitchen, I know. Someone's in the kitchen with Dinah. Gonna taste good, I know. So barbecued meatballs, it's one of those things that's delicious to take to like potlucks. We are going to have it. I'm meal prepping today, so I thought I'd bring you along showing you. This is a great one to just reheat uh, when you're getting home late and you just need something quick. It's not something quick, though, to throw together on a weeknight, unless you plan ahead. But it's not hard. It's very simple ingredients. And if you're new, I just want to say welcome to my channel. Thanks so much for watching. It's because of you that I continue to do these. In this bowl to make our barbecued meatballs, we want one and a half pounds of ground meat, and we are gonna use three quarters of a cup of oats. Now you might think, oh, why aren't you using breadcrumbs? Because this one calls for oats, and I think they're kind of interchangeable. And you can use the quick oats or the long cooking ones. So there's that. We also need three tablespoons of onion and we need it super finely chopped. And then we need four tablespoons of onion for our sauce. So we're gonna chop all our onion since we have to have it for both the meatballs and the sauce. This is also a great recipe if you know somebody who's sick or who's lost a loved one or something you need to take a meal to someone. Uh, all ages seem to really enjoy it and it is wonderful. I usually serve it over egg noodles, but you could serve it over mashed potatoes or eat them just how they are with some crusty French bread. And I wouldn't even know why you wouldn't want to put them in a hoagie. That might be a new thing we try. I probably have way more onion than I need, but it was a quarter of an onion and I thought I'd just commit to it. We're going to chop it up. And you really want it nice and fine. All right, so let's put about three tablespoons into the meatballs. And I'm gonna save the rest here for our sauce. That looks about to be a quarter cup. And we'll make those in a second. The only other thing we need to add to this is a cup of milk and some salt and pepper. So let's grab that. There's no egg or anything in here. That's why I like it. It's so straightforward. And with the price of eggs now, got to save where you can. Okay, there's that. And then we're going to put one and a half teaspoons of salt in. And a good amount of pepper. It's probably a half a teaspoon is what I about. Now, I'm gonna go in with my hands. If you don't like to use a spoon, but God gave me my hands. I think they're one of the best kitchen tools you have. I'm just gonna mix this all together, get the onions and the salt and pepper and those oats worked in. And then we're gonna form them into balls. All right, so I'm gonna wash my hands quick and then we're gonna form them into balls. I use my cookie scoop because then they're all perfectly the same for cooking and um, I know how many ounce portions were eaten. But uh, if you want, you could form them with your hands. I just like using the cookie scoop because they all come out the same. So I'll be right back. All right, so get yourself a cookie sheet or something that's gonna fit in your freezer because I'm gonna um, form these and then we're gonna put them in the freezer to firm them up because then we're gonna brown them. And there was my oven. So make sure you're preheating your oven to 350 degrees. And this is just my Pamper Chef cookie scoop. I do believe it's two tablespoons or one ounce. So I'm just gonna squish them together and make some meatballs. All right, so we've got our meatballs all on the cookie sheet. And now I'm gonna put them in the freezer. I'm gonna cover them here quick and just pop them in the freezer for about five minutes. They're gonna firm up just enough. 
Then we're gonna roll them in some flour and brown them on the stove. And then we'll pop them in the oven with our sauce. And I'm using this cookie sheet because that's what fits in my side by side. All right, so now that those are in the freezer, we're gonna make the sauce. So the first thing we're gonna need is one and a half cups of ketchup. And I should have went and got another container of ketchup. I'm still gonna need more. What a mess. Let me go get another ketchup. Do, 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 do. Oh my gosh. I can't get that open. Right. Probably gonna need a knife to get this undone too. All right, now we're back in business. Let's shake that. That was only a half a cup in there, so let's get a whole nother cup. That looks about right. It's a little over, but it is what it is. All right, then we're gonna get some sugar, which I'm just gonna grab quick. I need three tablespoons of sugar. It's probably a little more. It is, it is using up <laughs> all the last ingredients of everything today. Now I need five tablespoons of vinegar, and this little container is four tablespoons, so I'll just need a little bit more than that. So there's four tablespoons plus one. And we need three tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Let's see what I have left in this one too. I don't know if we'll have enough. I did grab an extra of this one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, one more tablespoon. Worcestershire sauce sure gives things the most delicious flavor. It has so many things in it. Okay, we wanna make sure we add our four tablespoons of finely diced onion to this. And then the secret ingredient is some Tabasco. And you just wanna put a dash, but if you want it more spicy, go for it. I'll just put about that much in. Just get a spoon and then gently stir it up. So it's just a kind of a ketchup, vinegar, sugar, barbecue-y sauce. I mean, I suppose if you want, you could add like liquid smoke and more stuff like that. I like this basic, <laughs> basic recipe, all my pantry ingredients. All right. So this sauce is all ready. Hang out with those meatballs that have been in the freezer. Okay, so I'm gonna get this cleaned up. We got a couple more minutes on our barbecue, uh, our meatballs, and then I'll be right back. So we're gonna get these meatballs going. I got a paper plate, which I usually use for one of my dredges. I'm gonna put about a cup of flour on here and then we'll head over to the stove and get them browning. So now that I've got the flour for the dredge, let's head to the stove and get them browning. So make sure you get yourself a large skillet. I've got a little bit of oil on here on medium to medium high heat. We're gonna grab our meatballs. And that five minutes in the freezer really gives them a second to firm up because of the milk and stuff in them. So now I'm just going to roll them in the flour and you can use gluten-free if you need to and just do them by batches, and we're just gonna roll them in the flour and brown them up. They're gonna cook for about 45 more minutes in the oven, so they don't have to be totally done. You just want them nice and brown. And with a cookie scoop, even though it adds some rough edges to them, by the time I roll it in the flour, they all get round anyway, so I'm working smarter, not harder, at least I think so. So when your first batch is cooking, go ahead and grab a nine by 13. I'm using a glass nine by 13. I'm just gonna spray it 
because that barbecue sauce, once it's baked, gets a little sticky. It just makes it easier to clean up. So as soon as they're brown, we're gonna just pop them in this nine by 13. Now I do wanna say these meatballs are not gonna be your perfectly round meatballs. <laughs> they are handmade. And by the time you flop them around here in the pan, I mean, they're kind of round, but they're not like perfect store-bought ones. So they're handcrafted. All right, so I've got the first batch pretty much brown. I'm gonna put them in the container and when I get them all brown, I'll be right back. Okay, so here's my last batch of meatballs. These got nice and brown. I should have let my skillet get hotter the first time, but they'll be fine. Try to get them in one single layer because we're gonna put that sauce all over these babies. So I've got these in a single line. Let's move back over to the island and get them coated with the sauce. So we've got our meatballs ready, our sauce is ready, and I'm just gonna take this and drizzle it all over them. We got our sauce on these. We're gonna pop them in a 355, wow, 350 degree oven for 45 minutes. And they're gonna be bubbly and delicious. Then we get to eat them. All right, here we go. Look at these beauties. Ooh, ah. If you guys had smell vision I wish you did. So I've got about one minute left on my egg noodles that I'm cooking that we're gonna serve these over and then we will get these served up. All right, so I, my noodles just came off the stove. I drained them. They're in here. I'm just gonna put some butter on those puppies cause hot butter noodles is delicious, especially with these. Plus, if we have any leftovers, they'll keep in the fridge from sticking together. We have got our plate. I'm gonna put a bed of noodles down. This would be really delicious with some roasted asparagus, fresh green beans, fresh salad, and some crusty bread for sure. And then we're just gonna take a few meatballs, put them on there. That sauce, see how that sauce thickens up and it just makes the most glorious concoction for these. I can't even see because they're steaming up my glasses. Look how delicious these are. If you guys love meatballs, give me a thumbs up because they're just delicious. I think your kids will really like these. They're great for every age. And I'm gonna put these in the fridge this week and we're gonna eat on for a couple nights because we've got a busy week ahead. So that's how I did some of my meal prepping. So thank you so much for joining me in my kitchen today. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and turn the bell on for notifications. I've got a lot more recipes coming and I thank you for viewing those and watching those and comment below. I do try to get back to you as soon as I can. If you've got questions or anything, let me know. You guys have a great day and I'll see you on the next video. And I'm not going anywhere. Nope. So. easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Go to your spot, go sit down. You need to go lay down. You need to lay down. Dang. Good job. Oh, good boy. It's nap time, bud. He's good. Yeah, you need to rest. So you need a P-L-A-Y? Oh, sure. I made a huge mistake and I left my phone over there. Could you just grab that for me? Yes. So done. <laughs> there you can cut in somewhere. <laughs> Cheers. Gonna taste good, I know.